powers of Congress and say, look, you're doing all of these things that you're authorized to do here. Keep in mind the general welfare of the country and the defense of the country, right? Well, is it, is it in our general welfare? Does it serve our national interest, you know, to interfere in the internal affairs of all of these countries around the world? If, by interfering, uh, they're directing their hostilities towards us and we get a police uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's the information. No, 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 no. And of course, since this list was prepared, uh, we have the bailout of AIP, the $700 bill for the bailout of the bailouts, and there is absolutely no authority in the Constitution for the New York government to give or lend public money or credit to any private entity for a decidedly private purpose. There is no authority in the Constitution. We do a lot of these things. We've gone to court on many of these issues. And, uh, we do that to help establish this record of these violations and our petitions and that governments answer. We petition the judiciary, we petition the Congress. So there's been, in 1995, uh, we brought an action against President Clinton and Robert Rubin, the Treasury Secretary, uh, who came from Clinton Sachs, but um, for bailing out the Mexican peso uh, to the tune of $20 billion. They didn't have the authority to do that. And uh, no state prevailed against John Arena, who put to the nail uh, that the case should be dismissed because uh, under the uh, like, uh, sovereign immunity, we couldn't sue the government.
was the appropriate next step for us to be here today. Uh, down on the bottom of the slide, we have uh, a sort of a listing of not only the grievances we've discussed, but some others, um, including the one way down there on the right, the natural born citizen clause of the Constitution. Uh, there have been attorneys that have been petitioning the judiciary over Mr. Obama's. His, in, uh, his uh, ineligibility under the uh, Constitution uh, clearly states uh, that to uh, be eligible uh, to hold the office of president, you have to be at least 35 years of age and a citizen for several years, but you have to be a natural born citizen. And so we've had attorneys uh, petitioning the judiciary to give us some idea of how to politicize and corrupt the judiciary in Hawaii. Sued and only asked the court to examine He asked the court to direct the Hawaiian officials, as Mr. Obama says he was born in So he asked the court to simply direct the Hawaiian officials to provide access to Mr. Barack Obama's birth certificate, his original birth certificate. The court said, no, that would be an invasion of his right to privacy. I mean, we're talking about somebody assuming the power of the presidency, but that's what the judge said. In Pennsylvania, Bill Burr brought the case against, uh, and, and another fellow, Leo D'Onofrio, in uh, New Jersey. These are, these are attorneys, and um, in his case, he said, look, here's all this evidence, and provided the court with evidence that he was born in Kenya, and uh, not there, uh, you know, He's a citizen of Indonesia because, uh, in a nutshell, I'm sure you're familiar with all of this, but uh, Mr. Obama's father was a Kenyan citizen, his mother was a Kenyan citizen. Uh, according to Mr. Berg's evidence, his mother was in, uh, his mother met his father at the University of Hawaii. They married, they went to Kenya. She didn't like it there, she wanted to come back. But she was pregnant. She was not allowed to board the plane because it was too high of a risk that they would have been on that flight. And so, according to Mr. Berg and his evidence, Kenya then she went with him to Hawaii. And there, registered the birth, as you could do under Hawaiian law. You could register the birth. You could get a certification of my birth simply by saying, here's a child. Is my child, and, um, um, and there's no signatures on a certification of birth as there is on an original birth certificate. What's called the Walt copy. Each of us has a Walt copy. The state where we were born, our original birth certificate is a Walt. And on that original birth certificate in Hawaii and everywhere else, I assume. Um, over here, three signatures are required. Right? The signature of the attending physician, the signature of the, reg of the registrar, as well as the signature of one of the parents, as well as a lot of other information, like the age of the parents, uh, where they were born, and, uh, and the name of the hospital, and so forth. All of that is on the key of the And so he has reduced that. He's refused all requests to provide evidence of his eligibility. Then his mother uh, uh, went to a uh, divorce from her father and married an Indonesian citizen. She traveled to Indonesia. And, uh, and under Indonesian law, they did not recognize or have dual citizenship. And under American law, he had dual citizenship, but not the countries that did not allow it. And so she applied for a natural citizen. It was evidence that he uh, adopted Traveled, uh, uh, Mr. Burnham has a, 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 a,